The difference between the Arctic and the Antarctic. Every day you will be notified with a new video which improves your knowledge day by day. So, don't forget to subscribe. Earth has two polar regions, the Arctic and the Antarctica. The name Arctic comes from the Greek Arktikos, which mean of the north. The name Antarctic comes from the Greek Antarktikos, which mean opposite of the north. Arctic is a sea of ice surrounded by land. The ice you are standing on is one meter to three meters thick, floating on the Arctic Ocean. It is made of frozen seawater, with some snow on top. Sea level is usually no more than one meter below your feet. Antarctica, by contrast, is a land surrounded by water. It is an entire continent, located in the southern hemisphere. Antarctica is significantly colder than the Arctic. The main reason for this is that Antarctica is a high continent, covered by a very thin layer of ice. Whereas the Arctic benefits from the tempering effects of the ocean. The Arctic and the Antarctica do not share the same seasons because they are on the opposite sides of the world. When Arctic has six months of summer, Antarctica has six months of winter. When Arctic has six months of winter, Antarctica has six months summer. Polar bears only exist in the Arctic. There are walrus, Arctic fox, Arctic hares, reindeer, and other types of animals in the Arctic. These animals do not live in the Antarctic. Penguins are only seen in Antarctica. There are no penguins in the Arctic. There are various types of seals in Antarctica, like the leopard seal, the Weddell seal, crab eater seal, and elephant seal. All of them do not exist outside of Antarctica. Approximately 1,700 species of plants live on the Arctic, including flowering plants, dwarf shrubs, herbs, grasses, mosses, and lichens. Some of them are Arctic willow, pask flower, purple saxifrage, cotton grass, lichens, and mosses. The Antarctic has very little vegetation. There are only two flowering plants in Antarctica Antarctic hair grass and Antarctic pearl wort. Mostly there are lichens, algae, and mosses. Numerous populations live in the Arctic. The Antarctica remained untouched by human presence until 1821. Today, still, this continent does not have any permanent inhabitants. Only scientists visit now and then to the research station in Antarctica. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Thank you for watching Make It Easy Education.